WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. And we got a bit of a mix back out there. The mix goes like this. The Dow and the S&P are up 98 points and 11 points, respectively, with the Nasdaq down eight. Russell is flat. It's up a point and a half. Semis are down 24. Trendies are off 59. New York Stock Exchange up 54. Gold's up 80 cents. Silver's off 23 pennies. Light speed crude is up 16 cents. Natural gas up 8 pennies. 30 year Treasury printed out at 127.02. Let's try to make hay of what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin in the upper left hand corner, the ES minute. What do we know? Well, price has broken out of its consolidation. It's trading above and it closed above the top of its daily profile. Folks, all of those are bullish signals, period. And that suggests that if we do get a second close above 40, 42.06.25 today, odds favor move up to the 43.25 level. That is the uh, approximate measured move of this consolidation. Now, if the spot politics remains below its 50-day exponential moving average, which it is right now, that is a likely possibility. In the case of the NQ, yesterday it completed a TD9 count top. That means if price closes the day above 13,913 in a single day, it will have negated that and tell us about a strong momentum move to the upside. However, and at the same time, there's an A to B equals CD pattern that completes at the 14,003 level. The actual high that we've seen so far is 13,960. So we're very close if a bearish reversal candle were to form to generating not just a TD9 count top, but a sell the D point top. But watch 13,913 at day's end. In the case of the U.S. dollar index, I believe it will complete a TD9 count top today. Um, it does have a consolidation breakout. It is trading above the top of its weekly profile and daily out there, but nonetheless, it does have a top it should pull back. Goldilocks trading basically with inside its consolidation pattern out here. Silver will form or complete a TD9 count bottom today. We'll have to take a look at the silver charts. Light sweet crude, finding resistance with inside the, this is, a, this is a bearish sign at the moment. Because where it found resistance was at the center of its bullish structure profile that it had closed below. And that all of a sudden becomes where the counter trend rallies would end. And that's up at the 72.56 level. If you close above that, well, it's a whole different meaning. But that's not where we're at. Natural gas, it will complete a TD9 count top pattern today. That says we should expect natural gas to pull back. The likely outcome would be a pullback to $2.60 out there. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Friday, have a fantastic one. Thanks so much for joining us. And we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care. Be safe out there.